Okay. Hey, we are looking filming. at a brachial plexus. Where is it? I'm looking upside down, so bear with me. Okay. There you go. No, it's over here. The brachial plexus is over here. Okay. Slide there it, it that way. Right there. No, it's right there. Nope. Yep. Plexus okay. is there. This is the brachial plexus. There you go. Oh, slide okay. It this I thought way. You I'm telling him to slide there the camera. Go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here's the brachial plexus, and what you'll see is numerous nerves in here. Very, very strong. I can really yank on those. And if I pull apart some of these blood vessels, which have been injected with latex, so the blue represents the veins, the red represents the arteries, that's next semester in AMP2. But here we have some more nerves down in here. And you can see in this plexus, it's really hard to tell which is which. So the best strategy is now that you have found this bundle, this braid of nerves, you're going to take your scalpel, thank you, and we're going to slice just a little bit. Really helps when the scalpels are sharp. But oh, we'll do a scissor. We can do a scissor too. So you can take a, I like these little pointy scissors that get in little small spaces without making too much damage. Now I can separate, oh look how nicely that goes down into that limb, into the brachium. Okay, and we'll snip some more open and see if we can get to the point where they begin to separate into the various regions of the lower limb that they're going to go. Eventually, something, the radial, the ulnar, the median nerves should all come out of this bundle. And what we want to try and do is follow the, it's kind of like following a river route until we find a destination where the tributaries all separate off here. Oh, I was going to try this one, huh? Let's see if this one's sharper. Oh, that one's better. Brand new. <laughs> That's why. When you get close to joints, it becomes difficult to tell the nerves from the tendons because they are all wrapped in the same kind of dense regular connective tissue, which appears white, and they're really tough like tendons are too. So then sometimes we get down here into a joint and it's hard to tell the tendon from the nerve, but... They're not shiny. That's true. The tendon, see here we have connective tissue on a, on a tendon, on a fascia, on a muscle, and it, and it has a nice shiny iridescent quality. Um, the nerves will look dull. They will not be, you know, iridescent and reflective looking like that. Let's see if we can get down in here. There we go. Okay. Anne is working feverishly over here on the, the uh, antebrachium. And actually, We'll show that in a minute because you can see how the, the shiny connective tissue is different from, from nerves. But, okay, so now we're just going to cut into that lower antebrachium. See if we can figure out where those nerves are going. Here is a tendon right here. These are some of the oh, I'm sorry. Antebrachium, antebrachium flexors. Here. They have to go. Yeah, like they only have like five minutes and they need to go. And this is the only time we get the cats out. True. Okay. So see this one right here? Okay, now it's going under the bone here on this side. So where is that going to come down? on the cat. Is that the pinky side? You know, they don't have pinkies and thumbs, but is that the lateral side on the other side over here, or is that the medial side? This is the pinky lateral. Side. Yeah, it's, it's lateral. pinky side. So that's going to be the ulnar. The ulnar's going to split and go behind that bone and around that elbow and down this side. <coughs> so, now you know why the neurologists get paid the big bucks, because and now here's this one. Here's coming down on this side which would be the thumb, if the cat had a thumb, it would be over here. So this is going to be your 
either your radial or your median, but we'd have to divide it, dissect it out a little bit more to tell at any rate. So once they get sp spread out from that plexus, you can see them a little bit better. Um, I'm going to hoist the cat a little bit. I want to show you in the video here. Um, Anne has dissected out this really nice, trying to get down to see the nerves. Not much flesh here in the antibrachium, but she has... You can see how shiny and iridescent that connective tissue looks on those tendons. And then hopefully, I don't There's know, one nerve right there on the side. You find, oh, yep, she just, and she got one isolated over here. And again, this is on the, this would be the cat's thumb over here. So this is on the pinky side, so this is ulnar nerve coming down on that cat. Okay. Um, the other thing we want to show, we're going to flip our cat around, so bear with us for a moment. Did you look for the sciatic yet? No. Okay. So, we're going to look for the sciatic nerve right underneath these hamstring muscles. Leave this out so when we leave, you can keep messing around with it. Yeah, sure, we'll clean it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and snip some of this hamstring. Which hamstring muscle is this one, guys? Is this the lateral or the medial of the leg? Uh, this okay. is the lateral. Right? And so which... Which muscle is on the lateral side, posterior? Posterior would be biceps femoris. That's right, biceps femoris. Good job. Yay. And so I'm going to cut some more and pull that back. And we should come across. Okay, now here, is that a nerve or is that a tendon? Look where it's attached. Shiny. That's shiny and it's attached to some muscle, but look. Oop, I snipped it. I was going to grab it, yeah. It, it was already it. snipped if it makes you feel any better. Okay, so look here. If we follow this back up, look at the size of the sciatic nerve. That is a big, that's the largest nerve trunk in the body. It's going to carry branches down all the way into the toes. And, um, I, yeah, this is a great one. You can just lift the whole cat up off the tray by these nerves because they're so well wrapped with dense regular connective tissue. So that's sciatics. Really easy to find, really obvious. Now imagine, multiply that times how big it would be in a person. It's really, it's really huge. Okay. There you have the major ones that you need to know in the cat. Oh, we didn't do femoral. Let's flip over here. We'll do femoral real quick. Or femoral, whichever you're more comfortable saying. Usually you can even just take your finger and kind of uh, separate some of this connective nice. tissue in here. <laughs> And sometimes that femoral will just kind of pop up and be obvious. On some cats, it's a little bit deeper, and you have to dig around a little bit. So it just sort of depends on your cat. But right in here somewhere, we should come across. Oh, there I see it. Just taking my finger and kind of running it through there. Mm. I see white down there. Mm -hmm. So here is... That's the sciatic... Um, this is... Um, nope, this one's actually... I mean, this is the. This is the... Right. No, nope, this one's actually the femoral nerve coming through this inguinal or femoral ring. Oh, I and thought since there was multiple It splits ones. right about where it comes through. It splits okay. into several branches, deep and superficial femoral. And then the saphenous mm -hmm. will come off of that and run down the inside of the leg. Mm -hmm. um, it is up higher, up in here, where the ilium of the pelvis is, no. that area. That's where it will connect to the sacral plexus. So you're right, it does come out of there. But this is where it's going from the internal body cavity out into the muscles in the lower leg. And you can dissect it out some, but it's really easy. This one's really easy. I mean, you can even just use your fingers and get down in there. So those are the major ones. Your femoral, your sciatic, your brachial plexus, um, the forelimb nerves, and um, and then when people have time, they can take a look, uh, try and get into the neck a little bit and see where it's the spinal nerves come out of the cervical vertebrae, but it's not real critical. It's just kind of helps emphasize to people. So, yep. I need to look at the cervical. There we go. Or...